Frustration boiling over there for the Italian. Oh, and there was a little bit of a head towards the player there as well. Was there enough there for you to, to warrant this as a no, send a referee? Uh, Welcome to Instant Replay for MLS Match Day 20, where we take a closer look at all the controversial refereeing decisions in Major League Soccer. I'm Andrew Wiebe. We start in Cincinnati, where the Garys, the juggernaut of MLS, got a 3-0 win against Toronto. But there was some controversy in the 40th minute. Italian international Federico Bernardeschi going nose-to-nose, -nose, forehead to forehead with Ray Gaddis. Now, the forehead-to-forehead -forehead contact is one thing, but watch closely. Bernadeschi's going to lunge, push a little bit, and you start to feel your spidey senses kick in. Is that a red card for violent conduct? After all, though Bernadeschi doesn't really connect here, it's not just if you use excessive force against an opponent when not challenging for the ball, it's if you attempt to use excessive force. In this instance, referee Mark Allerton gave two yellow cards, one for Bernadeschi and one for Ray Gaddis. I can understand if you argued for a red for Bernadeschi given the lunge, but I'm with Allerton on this one. I think the better outcome, the more just outcome, is two yellows, keep it moving. To Orlando we go, where the Lions and the Union drew 2-2, but it was almost 3-1, and Orlando thought they were off and running to three points. 86 minute, Orlando up 2-1. Erkin Kara sets up Ivan Angulo, and it looks like three points for the home team. Only VAR Jerry Marufo calls the referee Alex Chilowitz to the monitor. Watch right here at the beginning of the attacking phase of play, the APP. Watch Kara's left arm come around and catch Jose Martinez. Does he foul him? Chilowitz says yes upon review, and I agree. To me, Kara is moving that arm around to create space, and when he does so and catches the head of Martinez, that's a foul. And since it starts the attacking phase of play, it is eligible to be reviewed and is. No goal, well done to the crew on this one. More APP? Yeah, you know me. Montreal, Nashville, 27th minute. Sunusi Ibrahim is going to set up a goal for Bryce Duke. It's the winner for Montreal. The question for referee Tori Pinto and VAR Michael Radchuk is, did Ibrahim handle the ball in the attacking phase of play leading up to this? Watch closely, we'll slow it down for you. As Ibrahim is tripped by the Nashville defender, he puts his arm down to steady himself, and yes, his hand touches the ball. So you have to ask yourself two questions. One, was that a deliberate touch by Ibrahim? I say no. So two, did it make his body unnaturally bigger? You might say yes, because it looks like it helps him control the ball just a little bit. But the wording of the law is this. A player is considered to have made their body unnaturally bigger when the position of the hand or arm is not a consequence or justifiable by the player's body movement for that specific situation. In this situation, Ibrahim's being tripped. He's trying to catch himself instead of face planting into the ground. To me, that's a consequence of the situation and justifiable since he's being tripped. I agree with the crew. This goal stands. To Red Bull Arena we go for a possible handball in the 46th minute. There is no debate. The ball hits the Charlotte defender's hand, but is that arm and hand in a natural position? I think it is. This is a bang-bang play, and we can't ask defenders to have their arms tucked behind or straight next to their side. This is four or five inches out to the side of his body. To me, that's natural. No handball. To Portland we go, a tough judgment call for Fotis Bazakos and the VR Yunus Mercacci. 19th minute, a Vander going down under pressure from Mauricio Pineda. Call on the field is no PK, and there is no review. Portland a little bit frustrated, and I understand that frustration. I also understand if you have dueling opinions about this one and you're stuck in the middle. It's a judgment call. I would have been okay with the penalty in this situation. A Vander gets the touch past Pineda. If Pineda was just running and this was incidental contact, okay. No call, no foul, no issue. But Pineda is challenging for the ball and stepping across the attacker's path. I see Pineda lose his shoe in this situation. So you're asking yourself, well, is it a foul on a Vander? He stepped on him. I don't think so. If Pineda does not stick his foot into challenge, that doesn't happen. That's on the defender. For me, in the moment, this is a penalty. But I understand why Bazako said, hmm, looks more incidental to me. No foul. And in my opinion, it wouldn't be clear and obvious to recommend the review. This play, however, in the 88th minute was a clear and obvious error. Rafa Shijos, the fire defender, makes one of the tackles of the season to prevent a breakaway, and out comes the red card for Dogso from Fotis Bozakos. Marcacci says, no, 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 hold on. I have the better angle. I have the view. Go and review it. Bozakos reverses his call. No red card, and this is what video review is here for. Good job by the crew to get it right. 
We end with three plays in Los Angeles. Preston Judd is saying, who needs Chicharito and Jovalich? I got this, guys. Only, no, he doesn't. Referee Philip Duwich makes the right call here. Watch Judd pull down the Sporting KC defender to get the space to score this goal. No goal is the correct call. And handball is the correct call in the 90th minute by Duwich as well. Daniel Aguirre, oh, that's an unnatural position. Your arm is outstretched and the ball hits it. You take all responsibility for that positioning. And that positioning means handball and penalty. Alan Polito scores. We end this show with another good use of video review. 76 minute in Los Angeles, Seattle in town visiting LAFC. And Jose Cifuentes is celebrating a goal, only there's an element of the hand of God in here. Referee Ted Uncle and his ARs did not spot it on the field, but Cifuentes just straight up scores with his arm. David Barry is there in the VAR booth, and he says, Ted, go take a look. You'll see what I see. And Ted does. That's a handball. No goal. Well done to the crew on that one. And thank you for being here to nerd out on refereeing with me. If you'd like to actually do it on the field, here's the information to get involved and pick up a whistle at the grassroots level. And remember, referees are doing their job and they're doing the best that they can. So please treat them the way that you would want to be treated. That doesn't mean you can't disagree as I am evidence of. And with that, big thanks to my producer, Rich Hernandez, who always makes sure I am holding true to the laws, and my editor, Phil Levanco, who erases all my errors. I'm Andrew Wiebe. We'll see you next time.